Hello and welcome to our fireside flow and grow chat. <laughs> I'm excited too. I'm just excited to be here with yeah, you. Thank you for inviting me to your home yes. and having me here for the week to work on these yes. videos and this course. Yes. Yeah. This is our very first video. This is our first video. So Might not exciting. be the first video we post. No. But it is our first video that we're filming. That we are filming. So we're yes. Do it. So our energy is up. We are so excited. We have so many amazing thoughts and amazing things to share. So my first question for you mm -hmm. is how did you start hula hooping? I started hula hooping as a new mom uh, when my baby was keeping me stuck at home and I couldn't go to the gym and exercise anymore. So I started hooping strictly for fitness. I wanted to keep my body moving. I also used it as a form of stress relief because being a new mom stuck at home can uh, bring up some mental conflicts. And, um, and then it just grew from there. So starting with the fitness aspect, it really helped me to keep my body active and that encouraged me to improve other health aspects of my life from diet to hydration because you have to stay so hydrated when you're hooping and yeah. moving your body and uh, that's kind of how I got started. It's awesome. Yeah. And now you have a whole business? I do. Yeah. yeah. And from that point to where I'm at now. I developed this entire massive passion for sharing my journey and encouraging as many people as I can to pick up a hoop and begin their journey and, and just see where it leads you. And everybody's story is so unique and I yeah. love hearing about people's different journeys with the hoop, immense benefits it's brought to their life. I was 20 years old when I started hula hooping and I was sort of a freshman in college and I was very out of shape. And I, the videos that I was watching, this was like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. was like Elena Lave, Lisa Lottie, Brecken. And I was like, what is this? Like, how far can I take this? This is yeah. the, the coolest thing I, I've ever seen. And I want to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I eventually decided that I wanted to perform. Mm -hmm. And from there, quickly manifested joining a circus company. I thought it would take me like, you know, in like a decade maybe I would be able to join a company and perform with them. It took two weeks. <laughs> two from the, weeks just to join. Yeah, it took from the point where I said, I don't know how to do this, but I believe it's possible for me to perform. I believe it's possible for me to join a circus company. And from that point, it took me two weeks to find a circus company and join it. So where, what point of your life were you in health-wise when you began hooping? Yeah, very um, unhealthy, very disconnected from my body when I started hooping. I gravitated towards it, not necessarily, I think, at first to get in shape, mm -hmm. but because I, I wanted to move and I had always wanted to dance and I loved dancing, but it just felt like I was exploring this whole world of possibilities that had never occurred to me that existed on this planet, yeah. <laughs> you know? And that resonates with yeah. me as well, you know? It sounds corny, but my entire life I always felt like I had this long lost talent and mission that I just hadn't discovered yet yes. in my life. Yes. And I just always knew that there was something extraordinary and unique out there for me. Mm -hmm. And I had this light bulb moment. As soon as I was immense into this hooping community and just saw the possibility with your creativity mm -hmm. and using it as a tool for self growth. So just, you could go off into so many different directions yeah. with hooping. And I just had, had this epiphany, like this is my thing. I am meant to do this. Yeah, I felt the same way. I really? did. And I felt, I felt like I, I was meant to perform it. Wow. And I didn't know, I had done theater. I understood performing on stage and I figured circus performing must be similar to theater performing. So surely I can figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. It is very complicated, I will say. Mm -hmm. I think more complicated, more, there's more that goes into it than I, than I initially realized for sure. I think that's yeah. a common theme with a lot of things yeah. that we get ourselves into. True, but it did, it felt like a calling. Mm -hmm. It felt like the, the place where I had untapped talent that I could, I could actually do. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And for me, rather than the pull towards performing, my pull was towards teaching, mm. which honestly I didn't see coming mm -hmm. because I have never thought of myself as 
in a teaching role in front of an audience looking at me to teach them something. Yeah. And um, when I started hooping and I started building up my skill level, people that I knew locally asked me to start teaching. And I was like, no, nah, I don't know if I can do that. There's so much fear. But I got to this point where I realized that I needed to push through the fear mm -hmm. and that my passion was greater than my fear. Mm -hmm. And that that was part of my calling and that I was supposed to pursue that. Thanks so much for watching Hooping World. This is our fireside chat series and if you like it, leave a comment down below about what other topics you would like us to chit chat about in front of the fire. Yes, with we're tea. always yeah. looking forward to more subjects to expand upon. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. have fun. All okay, right. bye. Okay, thanks bye. for watching, bye. Do your day. <laughs>